Guys, it's day 105 from a rainy New York City. I uh, apologize for the late video today, but I uh, was traveling in to the city and uh, just recording this now. I wanted to expand on a tweet thread that I sent out today, and which I mentioned on the recent Coin Stories podcast, which is sort of my argument for why I think Bitcoin can go to $50 million a coin by 2041. Um, basically, it's, it's not an argument. And by the way, a, a now retired bear uh, tweeted at me and he said, Eric, you do realize that if it was to go to 50 million a coin, that all the Bitcoin would be worth one quadrillion. And I said, absolutely, I realize that. So why, why is that? It's not that Bitcoin is going to become the world's reserve currency. I see that it's continuing to be the U.S. dollar. But it's that it's going to be the world's reserve collateral, which is what underlines um, and is the foundation piece for the U.S. dollar, but all other currencies. So let me explain the difference between collateral and currency. Um, people are still going to want to use the dollar for their daily transactions. It has to be tied to a government. Uh, it has to be accepted, universally, universally accepted. Um, but collateral is different. Collateral has to be liquid. It has to be uh, auditable. It also has to be something that cannot be debased and not necessarily tied to any one government. Today, <clears throat> the world's collateral is uh, U.S. treasuries and other sovereign debt, which are both enormous categories um, approaching one quadrillion. So uh, gold also is used as collateral around the world in that sort of foundational piece. But as we move forward into the world of AI increasingly and agentic AI, um, we and, and in the next 15 years, as we see more and more governments suffer from retiring populations and an inability to fund expensive uh, social programs that they've already committed to, as well as just um, sort of exploding deficits uh, that cannot be met, uh, you are going to see an increasing discomfort uh, from a counterparty risk perspective in other sovereign debts. So I expect it will be other countries around the world that start to tip the dominoes uh, in favor of choosing Bitcoin, which is a perfect um, collateral for the new agentic AI world. And so once one country goes, the next will go, the next domino will fall, and eventually the entire world will be focused on uh, Bitcoin as the world's accepted form of collateral. US dollar consists to do the daily transactions, but it's Bitcoin that underlies everything. So it absorbs the market for gold, but it moves beyond gold. It's not just a gold, uh, a digital gold, as some people argue. It becomes this next generation of collateral. Uh, and that subsuming sovereign debt, subsuming some part of US treasuries, that is what gets us. Uh, once the power law starts to kick in and people realize what is happening and how Bitcoin is being used, that we get this explosive move up uh, towards something like $50 million by 2041. So rain or shine, this is what's coming. This is what I'm preparing for. This is why I'm so bullish on Bitcoin. This is why I'm so bullish about EMJX and digital um, treasuries in general. Uh, especially ones that are hedged and multi-asset, by the way, uh, because they will be needed in that new Bitcoin-centric collateralized world.